everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. It is Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm hoping for a very quick meal prep this week. I'm crossing my fingers. I know I've said that before and they still end up long, but this week is going to be super easy. I'm just doing breakfast burritos for breakfast and then for lunch I'm doing Big Mac salads. I've had both those before. I absolutely love those. I don't know that I'm going to be pre-packaging my dinners this week. I have some things I need to do before the game starts later and I definitely want to enjoy the game with my husband. So I'm just going to wait and see how time goes and go from there. So if you're new to my channel, I currently follow the WW Blue program. However, I do provide the points for all three programs and also on my website planningushealthy.com if you are not following the ww plan i also give the nutritional facts so that way if you just want your calories carbs fat intake and things like that you can get that from the recipes on my website so if you want to see how i prep breakfast lunch maybe dinners and maybe snacks for my husband and i for the week then stay with me if you're new to my channel welcome my name is christy and i'm planning us healthy some very easy breakfast burritos. Uh, basically these are going to have eggs, Velveeta slice, and they also have Canadian bacon. And I use the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps for these. These are the one point wraps. These are the high fiber kind. So these breakfast burritos come out to three points each for blue and purple and seven points for green because I do use two eggs in each burrito. So if you wanted to lower that on green, you could definitely just use one egg if you wanted. And I actually normally use Velveeta. I only have two slices of Velveeta left. So I am going to use some ultra thin sliced provolone. As long as I just use one slice, I'll be fine because I basically just want the cheese to be one point. Had to count my eggs. <laughs> Okay, so I want 12 eggs and then I'm just going to put maybe about an eighth of a cup of water in here and mix it up. I'm not going to bring you over to my stove and have you watch me cook eggs. I've done that on here before. I'm just going to be scrambling eggs and then I'll come back and show you how we put the burritos together. All right, so my eggs are done. Now what I'm going to do is just weigh them out so I know how much to put in each burrito. And this part doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to do this if you're on blue or purple. Uh, but green, I would suggest definitely do it on green since you do count your eggs for green. Okay, so I'm going to put about 125 grams on each wrap. So I need six wraps. Okay, so how I make these is we like mustard on ours, so I just put some mustard on the bottom of the wrap. And then I just measure my eggs out onto it. Just try and keep it in the middle as close as you can because we're gonna roll this up burrito style. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put two slices of Canadian bacon on it. And you can either put it right on it or break it up. I try and break it up just a little bit. And I already put salt and pepper on my eggs when I was cooking them. So I'm not adding anything now. And finally, I'm going to add one slice of, like I said, I'm using the ultra thin provolone. The Velveeta slices are what I usually use. I prefer those. But since I don't have any, this is one point cheese, so this is what I'll use for it. Just plop that on there. And then just fold in the sides. And you could also kind of break apart the cheese if you wanted to as well. And then just very carefully roll it up like a burrito. Thank you. 
and that is all there is to it. So again, three points on blue and purple and seven on green. And then I just wrap it up in some saran wrap. So then what I do in order to reheat these, I just take it out of the plastic wrap and then I wrap it in a paper towel and microwave it for about one minute. All right, and then I always try and just kind of twist the ends and that way it kind of helps to keep it closed. And that's it. And then I'm gonna put each one in a little container and then I'm going to just put some hot sauce in a dish and then that way we'll have the hot sauce to go with it. If you don't like hot sauce, you could just leave it like this or if I wasn't using the hot sauce, I'd probably just wrap this in aluminum foil and then just take it that way. But since I'm gonna be taking hot sauce, I'm just putting it in the container. I like hot sauce with my eggs. All right, so that's it. So I'm just gonna go through and do the rest of them and then I'll start on lunch. told you that was gonna be quick. Now I'm going to just clean up a little bit and then we'll move on to the Big Mac salads. Okay, so the Big Mac salads, like I said, these are, mm, they're so good. These are five points on blue, five points on purple, and seven points on green. So in here I have uh, one pound of, boy I'm too close. I have one pound of ground turkey breast. I just get this farm to family ground turkey breast from Walmart. And this is zero point for blue and purple, but this kind is one point for four ounces on green. So I use one pound of that, and then I also have in here a half a pound of 96% lean ground beef. And I just mix those up. And then I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of onion powder. some salt and pepper and then just mix that up a little bit the next thing I'm going to add is about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and then I'm just going to cook this for about five to seven minutes or until it's cooked through. And then I'm gonna add some garlic to it. And if you know me, you know I don't ever add garlic until towards the end because I don't like that burnt flavor that it, garlic does. If you cook garlic too long, it gives it a burnt flavor. After that is done, now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. 
And now I'm going to turn my burner off because I don't want that to cook. I just want it to kind of flavor a little bit. And I'll keep it on the burner for about 30 seconds and then I'll take it off. So now I'll meet you back at my prep table and we will assemble the salad. Okay, so before I go to the prep table, I'm just showing you that I am just washing my lettuce. And I am just using my new salad spinner, which I absolutely love. So I just wash it right in there and then dump it out. And then I'll go back to the table and spin it out. salads I just use iceberg lettuce I usually use one and a half heads of iceberg lettuce and then the coleslaw angel hair coleslaw but I really wanted some green leaf lettuce this time so I'm using green leaf and iceberg and the coleslaw this time so what we're gonna do for this I'm actually gonna mix this all up now for these salads one thing when I made these last time I had a lot of questions about do we heat the uh, meat or do we just leave it cold so for my husband and I, we just ate it cold. It was good. I put the salad together and I put the meat right on the top of it and that's we ate it cold. But you can definitely reheat the, the meat if you want. So if you want your meat warm, just put it in another container inside your dish or baggie or something. And then that way you can heat up the meat and throw it on there. So now I'm just going to get my dishes, these ones, I think these should be big enough. As you can tell, I like a lot of lettuce in my salads. I just put some lettuce in the bottom. And then just add some coleslaw. I just love the flavor that coleslaw gives to salads because it kind of gives it that sweet, a little bit of a sweet flavor. All right, the next thing I'm going to add is some red onion. Split that up amongst the dishes. And if you don't like onion, you could definitely leave this out. That's completely up to you. You can leave any of this stuff out. This is completely optional. I'm just showing you basically how I do mine. Uh, but definitely do it to your liking. Add different things. Um, normally Big Macs don't come with uh, tomatoes, I believe. I don't think they do. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think they don't come with tomatoes. Um, but I do like tomatoes on mine, so I'm going to be adding tomatoes. So I've got Roma tomatoes, and I'm going to do about three. So we'll get about half a tomato on each one. And actually, I didn't wash these yet, so let me go wash these real quick. Now, on my recipe, I said on the recipe, you'll see where it says to just cut the tomato up and put it in a container or a baggie and add it to it that day. But with Roma tomatoes, they don't tend to get as mushy. But I think with the Roma tomatoes, it's going to be all right. Okay, I'm going to cut up about five baby dills. Maybe six, depending how big they are. And then 
just split those amongst the six dishes. I think I put too many in one. I'm gonna have to cut up a couple more. <laughs> as long as you're just adding too many vegetables, you're fine. It's when you start adding things that have points. If you add too many of those, then... I just use the amounts on my website as a guide or for those who actually count calories. Okay, now I'm going to get my meat. So now I've done the same thing. I weighed out my burger and so that I can put the right amount on each in each tray. So like I said, we're going to do ours cold. So at this point, if you wanted it warm, then just put it in a separate container. a cup of Velveeta shreds which is 28 grams Now we're going to do the topping. So for the topping, I actually have one teaspoon of sugar, and this is just regular sugar since it's such a small amount. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of minced onion. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of Hellman's light mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of light Miracle Whip. And then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And finally, three tablespoons of uh, fat-free French. And then the other thing that you can add if you want to is a little bit of, I usually use the dill relish. I don't have this on the recipe uh, because I don't always add it, but I'm gonna add just a little bit today. And then just mix that all up. Now what I'm doing is just weighing out, uh, splitting this up into some little containers. So I'm gonna weigh the whole thing minus the bowl so about 53 grams in each container so it pretty much almost fills it lunch is done and I think I have a little bit of time to do to just throw a couple dinners together actually I think that I will cut up my cucumbers I'm doing cucumbers for snack this week so I'll cut up my cucumbers and then I'll see where I am with time all right so for my snacks this week I'm doing of course my normal pudding yogurt I usually have my pretzels and queso dip but I'm staying away from that this week so I'm going to just cut and peel some cucumbers and just throw them in a container with some Olive Garden light Italian dressing and then I'll snack on that I actually enjoyed that last week and then the other thing if you're new for breakfast and lunches, I'm basically, as you saw, I'm making three portions. For me, three portions for my husband. So we just do the breakfast and lunches Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday we do something else. 
So on Thursday, I'm actually just gonna do an oatmeal packet for breakfast, and then Friday I'll have my Fiber One cereal. So I already weighed out my Fiber One cereal. In fact, over the weekend I went through my pantry and kind of reorganized it, and I took everything out of boxes and kind of put it into containers. So I already have a bunch of these in my pantry that are already weighed out and measured out. I have some in two-point packages and then some in one-point packages. So I just had to pull that out of my pantry. And then I have a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk measured out, so I'll just take that to work with me. And then for lunches, the other two days, I'm going to be doing a whole chicken in the crock pot uh, Thursday night, I believe. And so I'm going to just use the chicken and make chicken salads the next day. I have some lettuce left. And I think one day I'm just going to do like a tuna salad wrap. So I'm just going to get these all cut up and put into dishes. And then the other thing I have for snacks are blueberries, so I'll put those in containers. All right, I guess those aren't gonna fit in that, so let's try this. I'll put the blueberries in that. I was trying to split it up some. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of the salad dressing. Okay, there is that. And then I'll just put the blueberries in here for us. So that's it for the snacks. So now I think I've got time to move on to dinner. Okay, so for dinners, if you're new to my channel, uh, basically I'm just making kind of dinner kits. I'm not cooking it like I did. I am just weighing things out, measuring them out, putting them in the bag, and then the night that I have them, I just pull the kit out of the fridge and wash my produce or whatever I need to do, cut it up, things like that. So I'm just portioning everything out and putting it in the bag. So for this night, this is turkey tenderloin with potatoes and carrots and gravy. I don't actually have a recipe out on my website for this one. For everything you see, I will usually have a recipe link down in the description box below. For the turkey tenderloin, I don't really have one. I do have one for a garlic herb pork tenderloin with the potatoes and carrots that you can go and kind of get an idea of how I make it. The only difference is on the turkey tenderloin, all I'm putting on it is, is some stone ground mustard. So I'm not going to be putting together the topping for that because I'm just going to slap some stone, stone ground mustard on that that night. So I won't even put that in the, in the kit. So all I'm going to put in here is some carrots. Whoop. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick some carrots in the bottom of the bag. And I have about three quarters worth of potatoes that I've already weighed out. Sticking those in there. I have 12 ounces of turkey tenderloin that my husband and I will split. And then the other thing I'm going to have is a half a cup of pork gravy. This particular kind is the Heinz Homestyle pork gravy. And this you can have, um, it's one point for up to three quarters of a cup. So we usually have about a quarter of a cup each. So that's all I do. I'm putting the whole jar. Usually I weigh that out, but that's all I have in there is about a half a cup. So I'm just putting, them, putting it in there like that. So the only thing I'm going to have to get out that night will be the mustard because um, I'm not, I'm not going to put that in there. So that's it for that one. The next one, some of you have seen me do a million times because I have this pretty much every week. This is my basil parmesan salmon. I'm doing it with rice. So for this one, I reuse these bags. So this one is actually from broccoli with queso, which is what I was going to have. But I'm actually just going to do cucumbers with this. So that's going to change the points to five blue, five purple, and 12 green. So for the points that I have on the bag, it's actually for the whole kit, for everything that's in there. So for this one, I'm just gonna throw some cucumbers in the bottom of the bag. Actually, I'll probably just throw them all in there because then I'll just cut them all up that night and then we'll eat them. 
And then the other thing I'm going to be having with it is my long grain and wild rice. And that is three points for a half a cup. I'm just putting it in there for now just to show you. I have my pound of salmon that we will split. This is actually going to be enough for three servings, the salmon. So I take a pound and I split it into three. And then I have my topping, which in this container I have three tablespoons of light mayonnaise, uh, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and between one and two tablespoons of basil. And I'm just using the ground basil. Sometimes I use fresh, but I used ground basil last time and it was just as good. And then in this container I have another half a tablespoon of Parmesan that I'll put over the topping that night too. So this isn't meant to show you how to make these ones for the dinner, but just how I actually package the kits. So like I said, these recipes will be down in the description box below. So that is it for that one. For the meatloaf, I am going to put the meatloaf together. I decided I'm just going to go ahead and put the meatloaf together. That way it's ready, and then that morning I can just pull it out of the fridge and stick it in the crock pot. So let me get what I need together for that, and then I will come back and show you what I'm putting in that. Okay, so for the crock pot barbecue meatloaf, I am basically just going to put it together and put it in a bag. So in my bowl, I have one and a half pounds of ground turkey. My recipe... For the points on the recipe, it's two points for blue, two points for purple, and three points for green. That is using ground turkey breast. I am actually going to use the 93% lean ground turkey rather than the ground turkey breast. That is going to increase my points for me for blue and purple. is going to increase it to five points, and then green will be six. So just keep that in mind. If you use the ground turkey breast, then that is the points on the recipe. If you use the ground turkey, it's going to increase it. So I have one and a half pounds of the turkey in there. I'm going to add one egg. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of ground sage, a half a teaspoon of ground mustard, a teaspoon of oregano, And then I'm going to add, I have it on my recipe to add a half a tablespoon of garlic, but you know me, I love my garlic, so I'm adding a tablespoon. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And then my uh, recipe calls for one shallot, but I didn't have a shallot, so I'm using a half an onion. And sometimes I put uh, bell pepper in there too. That's up to you. Again, meatloaf is something that you can make so, so many different ways. And then you want a third of a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm just using the Progresso Italian breadcrumbs. And then a quarter of a cup of Velveeta shreds. And then this part, you can just close your eyes if it grosses you out. If Kim from A Girl in Her Phone is watching right now, she's turned her head because she cannot stand to touch meat with her bare hands. Okay, and that's it. And then now I'm just going to put it in my bag. I'm going to kind of form it the best I can into like a loaf. which actually is probably easier once I have it in the bag. All right, let me wash my hand real quick. So I'm just trying to spread it down in the bottom, but I'm trying to get it as close to the bottom as possible so that I can squeeze the air out. And then what I'll do uh, to get this out, I'll just take some scissors and cut down the side. That way I can just kind of plop it into the crock pot. Okay, and that's all I'm doing for that one. And then the night that I have these, I'm gonna do uh, just some. I'm gonna just do some Brussels sprouts with uh, Velveeta that night, I think. Since I'm gonna do cu cucumbers with the salmon, I'll just do some Brussels sprouts, so I won't have to put that in the bag. 
So that is it. I can't believe I made it through and it only took me about two hours. I feel like this video is going to be longer though for some reason. I just can't seem to get the video short. Okay, so let me put everything out and show you what we ended up with. So here is meal prep for the week. I'll start down here with my snacks, my normal snacks. Two point puddings, uh, two point Greek yogurt. That's the, I use the strawberry, she strawberry cheesecake kind. And then I have my zero point blueberries. I also have some jello in there that I still have left. I don't really eat jello that much, so I did have one of them. They weren't too bad. They're sugar free jello, those are zero. And then I have my cucumbers with my Olive Garden dressing for zero. I have my cereal for one morning. That is uh, two points for 45 grams. Half a cup of unsweetened almond milk for zero. And then, uh, like I said, I'm gonna just do oatmeal one day. And then for breakfast, I have our breakfast burritos and uh, our hot sauce. So we have those for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then here are the Big Mac salads. So as you can see, they look absolutely amazing. And that's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. I do remember that these were really filling. My husband didn't know what was on the menu this week and he just walked in and he's like, yes, Big Mac salads. So the breakfast burritos, like I said, three points for blue and purple and seven points for green because I used two eggs in each one. For the Big Mac salads, it is five points for blue and purple and seven points for green. That is for the whole salad and the sauce. And then dinners, one day is gonna be crock pot, barbecue, turkey meatloaf. And that is, like I said, for the ground turkey breast is two points for blue, two points for purple, and three points for green. But if you're doing like I did and doing ground turkey, this 93% lean, then it increases it to five for blue and purple and six for green. And then basil parmesan salmon with rice and cucumbers. So that's gonna be five blue, five purple, and 12 green. And that is for the whole kit, everything in there. And then turkey tenderloin with potatoes, carrots, and gravy. And that is four blue, one purple, and five green. And like I said, all the recipes will be listed down in the description box below with the exception of the turkey tenderloin. Like I said, I will put the pork tenderloin recipe link down there so that you can kind of get an idea of how I make it. I make it exactly the same way. Um, it's just I'm using turkey tenderloin and I'm only going to be putting stone ground mustard on it. Okay, I can't believe we made it through. I cannot believe that I actually did dinners too. So I'm super excited now this week. I'm going to be so much less stressed. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure if you like this type of video, you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to meal prepping, please do not feel like you have to do all this. Um, meal prepping is even one thing. Even if you take your cucumbers and cut those up to snack on throughout the week, that is a form of meal prepping. So please don't think that you have to do all of this. I basically film this every week just to show everybody a big picture. And so hopefully you can take one thing from it. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.